Hello everyone and welcome back to another Green Man Travels Adventure and today we're on a map that's based in Germany. Now this map is called Gumpen. It's actually called Gumpen Mega Field and Forest Map. It was released yesterday on the 27th of the 7th 2023. It is cross-platform compatible so PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One and the Xbox series of consoles and we've actually got a blimp on this map which is pretty cool um, It's on a version 1.0.0.0 It's 246.48 megabytes to download and it's uh, created by a modder called Beamer Now on the description of Mod Hub it says Welcome to Gumpen, a small town in Hesse in the Oldenwald district Now I've had a quick look and the Oldenwald district is actually a real place in Germany um, it's in the middle of the countryside, surrounded by meadows and fields. So it's a standard size map, and uh, it features 24 lots or field areas, one stupidly large forest, so these is right over there. They class it as one XXL forest divided into five pots. There's 16 fields, a small town and some sail stations. There's a place to take your bales, and there's also a uh, the large farmyard, or they say large courtyard, which is actually on top of the hill over there. It's got the uh, cow shed with automatic feeding system, a chicken coop with uh, a large free-range poultry farm. It's got a BGA already on the map, it's actually in your farmyard. It's got some very large silos and quite a lot of nice sheds as well, but we'll run through those in a few seconds. Um, it does say on the uh, description that you should uh, use the Platinum Expansion DLC for the production at the store mill, so that's uh, interesting. And uh, it also requires a few mods, so it requires the Chicken Coop mod by Camilos0397, the Chicken Barn Large by Lost Gamer and the Gamini Modding Grangero, and also it needs the Cow Barn big with lizard mix feeder by caster ds agra service so uh, a few mods there but nothing too massive so uh, as you can see though it's um yeah an interesting layout of map with a massive forest area over here but um it's quite a nice area it's uh, it's not completely flat as well so that's quite nice so but i think what we'll do as always we will get ourselves safely back down on terra firma and have a look at our starting equipment we start with quite a, a few bits of equipment, but not too much, and also some different bits of equipment that I've not seen on starting uh, starting farms. So that's quite nice. So we get two small tractors. We get the John Deere 6120M, which is 140 horsepower. We also get the Case Maxim CVX 115 with 145 horsepower. It's nice to nice to see a Case tractor in uh, starting equipment. We also get a Mass Ferguson MF 6718S 200 horsepower medium tractor. We also get a nice New Holland CH7.70 um, combine harvester, which has got a 9,300 litre hopper. I'm a big fan of that combine personally, and it's uh, nice to see it on some starting equipment. We've got the nice crumpy half pipe HP20 12,100 litre capacity trailer. We've got the 6 metre, sorry, 6, so 8.5 metre header. I'm reading the uh, speed there, and um, header for the New Holland. We get the Cavernerland 3.5 meter plow. We get the Lemkim Smarguard 9 slash 500 K 5 meter cultivator. We also get a very nice Pottinger Terrace MC 6 F and 4,000 liter 6 meter working wick direct seeder. So that's really nice to start off with. We get the good old Hardy Mega 1200 L sprayer. We get the Pottinger Novacat 301 AM ED Pro. 3.1 meter front mower. We got a very nice Pottinger Faro 4010D forage wagon, which has got 26,000 liter capacity. We get the Hauer XB190 front loader. And we get the Albert Universal bucket to go with that. And we get the nice Nardi N40B header trailer. So uh, a few bits of nice different equipment there. So that's really nice to see. So. If we just run around quickly i'm going to run up to where our home trigger is because our map field or sorry farm is actually on lots of different levels and it's quite nice we get a doggy as well so uh house triggers here this is i think actually the same house as you get when you start on uh erling grat in the main game so if we then just fly down here a second we get this area here which has got one of the chicken chicken coops and then we got a nice 
storage area here for the Combine, Terrasem and the Mass Ferguson. Come down here we've got some nice sheds, this one's a bit different though because the uh, mechanic point or the workshop's actually in here so it's a drive through so that's pretty good. And we've got some more sheds there, we've got the uh, full forage set up there on the John Deere so that's nice. We've got all of our other equipment here as well, that's pretty good. I quite like the idea that the uh, farmyard is on different levels so that's pretty cool. Nice big area here, our own BGA to start with, that should be very nice to use. Um, one of the easy sheds and I think this is just an area for storing. If we go back up here again, so if we turn left we've got the big silo. So actually I quite like that silo because it's got the uh, it's got the empty and the fill um, triggers in different roofs. So I like that idea I must admit. You've got your manure pit and you've got the other road down here to the BGA. Then you've got your very large uh, cow barn. So very large, I think it's actually a custom building. I've not seen this one before so that's pretty good. And then you've got another area here of just, I don't know, really flat area to put something down. Plus another storage shed there for your equipment. Everything's all nicely fenced off and looks very, very uh, well preened and looked after. So if we then fire straight through the cow barn quickly, we'll come to the last bit. We've got the manure pit and we've got the bale storage. We've got another little shed there and we've got our sheep. So that's pretty good. I quite like that idea. So if you have a quick look, oh, one thing I will mention actually when I look around, I like these bins. I think that's really, really cool. That's a really nice feature. You've got the different hopper and the bins for your different things for your TMR. I think that's a really nice feature of that mod. So if we have a quick look at the animals we start with. So we've got the large chicken, sorry, large cow barn with a lizard auto load, which is to our right. We've got the uh, chicken coop the sheep pond and another chicken coop. So if we actually just start with the sheep pond quickly. That's a 25 head uh, sheep pond. Pretty standard one I think from the game. And then got this custom cow barn. So if we fire all the way back through here. Run, 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 run. And go back over here. And this is a 500 head cow barn. So really nice big cow barn actually. Quite nice though I must admit. It's a bit different. Got some different aspects of quite a few of the other cow barns. and. Uh, different buildings you can get and I quite like the idea if you've got another got the walkway through here so if we then fire back up the hill very quickly we've then got our big chicken coop now this is huge if I get the animal trigger right it's 1500 head or chick or whatever you want to call it uh, chicken chicken coop so very very big um, and also you've got another area here where you can go in and have a look so you can drive straight through if you wanted to Another shed there quickly, and then lastly, we've also got, if we just fire up here quickly, we've got another chicken coop behind, uh, and we've got another 360 head chicken coop there. So yeah, quite interesting though, I must admit. Um, I like the idea of the farm being on different levels. Um, I don't think it um, helps to have a massive amount of equipment on this map, but um, yeah, I do actually quite like the idea and it gives it something a little bit different as well. So if we have a quick look at what we start with field wise. So our main farm is down here on the right hand side of the map. You can see all the triggers and all the nice equipment. So we actually start with uh, field or farmland two and farmland three, which is actually field eight. So it's kind of out of our farm and then straight over. So a little bit of traveling involved, but um, yeah, Pretty good, pretty good. Um, there's no customization on the crop calendar. It's pretty standard. The, uh, the actual calendar itself is is pretty standard, and also the crops are. There's no custom crops. Um, sale points are. It's not a massive amount. It's only two or three, but um, prices look pretty good. So, and it looks like it's a pretty standard setup for um, for your uh, things that you can sell for your wares, etc. So we run through the animals. Um, contracts are, um, yeah, um, fields are a good size because obviously it is designed to be quite a big map for agriculture and forestry. So there's some good money to be made on some of these um, contracts. So definitely something to uh, look into. And you, like I say, you do start with that production of your 250 kilowatt biogas pump, which actually sits on your farm. So something a little bit different. So if we have a quick look at the actual PDA itself. So as you can see, it's a pretty um, standard layout when it comes to the uh, fields. They're all pretty square, a 
and of different sizes though so slightly bigger ones over here and uh, 14 and 15 ought to be like probably the biggest on the map the road layout's pretty basic main road that runs all the way around through the villages here and then off the other side of the map and then the intersect here and the that's where the main shop is as well and your farm down here and this area up here obviously is the massive area of forestry so if you're into your forestry um then this is probably the map for you for a european style so it's uh it's a little bit different but uh yeah it's pretty good pretty good so let's run through some of the productions there's not many but it's a few so obviously we've got a few things on here as well actually we've actually got uh over here we've got productions we've got the, a big water tank like a custom water tank liquid fertilizer tank and a stainless steel fertilizer tank so that's pretty good so if we go up here we've got the shop even though i'm not pronouncing that i'm sorry to say you've then got uh heron mooley i don't know what that is but i'm thinking if we go here and go that one mineral feed sale probably animal dealer probably I, I would say like a grain mill or something like that. Let's have a quick look. Looks very much like a grain mill you'd get on a train on some other maps, I would say. So I would say some kind of selling point for grain. Here you've got uh, seeds buy, fertilizer buy, lime silo, and farmer's trade. So I think again, pretty, wow, look at that, that's a big building. Pretty standard place to buy and sell most of your uh, wheat corn barley etc i would have thought i recognize this building actually i think it's the uh, farmer's market that's from erlengrat so it's pretty good so if we then go right up to the top here actually nearly missed that one there's the sawmill so that's a pretty nice looking sawmill um how much is it to buy if he's going to do forestry oh okay uh, zero okay that's interesting let's see if the other ones are like that then that's an interesting feature that I haven't picked up on. Let's go down to another production. So you've got your gas station there. You've got your dairy. Uh, not a custom dairy, but uh, still looks pretty good. How much is that to buy? Zero. Okay, so it looks like some of the productions are free. So that's pretty cool, I suppose. Spinnery. Let's have a quick look at that one. Also zero. Okay, um, new farmer mode lots of production straight off then uh, buy buy a mass heating plant so that's the standard buy a mass heating plant that's the sell wool wood trigger is there a way to buy this i don't think so no okay so the ones that you can buy are very very cheap wow that's quite tight though isn't it if you're trying to get a trailer or something quite large in there and then down here we've got the farmer's market and the bakery now can the bakery be purchased? It's quite tight, some of the um, ways that some of these buildings have been put in, so just something to be to bear in mind. Also zero. Okay, sounds good. Then we've got pet trade bale sale and the animal dealer. So, yeah. There you go, that's where you can actually... There's your animal trigger, and then you've got your sale point over here i think that could be an interesting area to get your tractor into there wow okay not my sort of driving so oh well quite a few productions on the map um interesting idea that all of them are free apart from um obviously like the silos etc so that's something to rem to remember let's get back to the farm that does 32 uh you know what i think we'll take the case for a drive how's that I haven't taken a case for a drive for a while, so let's go for that. Let's take a bit of a drive out of the out of the main farm and down the roads and see what it's like. So, uh, roads seem pretty, seem like a pretty good width, to be honest with you. Um, not too wide, not too narrow. So you get some averagely good size equipment, which you'd probably need for doing some of these fields on this map. Because um, yeah, they're um, quite large, to say the least. So up here on the right is our starting fields. Um, again, not massively. Uh, that's quite a challenging field. Let's have a quick look at that quickly. I'm just going to dike my case somewhere. Wow. Okay. Okay. The fields are definitely not flat. You've definitely got some um, 
definite undulation to them and some contours so that could be interesting to remember when you're doing some harvesting they don't come with any uh, any pre-made crops in here though so that's uh, also something to remember even though you start in august as new farmer there is no crops in this one and then in this field if we can make it through that crashing through the trees yeah that's a that's a very big field actually it doesn't look as big as you think and it's got a pretty impressive incline on there so you'd have to have a pretty good harvester and especially a bit of a bump at the end as well so yeah um you're gonna need some some pretty big grunt on this map i think to actually do most of the contracts so if we join the road back again quickly and there's quite a few tracks though as well so it's not just the main roads there's a few tracks as well um to run around and have a look around some different areas. Oh, thanks for that, Mr. Van. Okay, J turn. Well, hey. Um, or U turn, sorry. So we'll just go down here a little bit. Not too far, though, because uh, my driving is uh, particularly fun, as always. That's obviously where we've been. But yeah, there's a few tracks and bits and bobs. Um, sides of the roads are a little bit rough in areas, but probably some of that is my driving, which doesn't surprise me. So. Some nice features though, nice rock face there. The roads are not perfectly straight and perfect, so that's nice to see. A um, little bit of um, character to the map, I must admit. So, and it's nice that there's some tracks off to the fields, and the fields, whoa, easy there. The fields aren't perfect um, in regards to they just sit perfectly on the side of the road. You have to go down some tracks to get to them, so that's pretty good. So, I think what we'll do is I'm going to pull off into the gas station just to stop my crazy driving. I'm actually going to get out and I think we're going to have a quick fly over and have a look at the forestry area quick. We wouldn't usually, but because it's quite a big feature of this map, I think it's something we need to do. As you can see, if we go onto the mini map, we're, we're here and we can look across here to this forestry area. So it's pretty large. So if we just have a quick fly over, as you can see, you can see the different tracks into the fields as well, which is nice. Um, plenty of spare space as, as well around most of the fields, which gives them the ability to obviously. Uh, we can uh, get some uh, decent equipment but all this that the eye can see is your forestry areas on this map and it's not flat either it's actually up, up a hill because this is based in a mountain range in Germany so pretty cool that they've designed it with the forest going up the side of the mountain range so nice tracks there as well forestry tracks this is an awful lot of trees in my opinion so um, yeah not the sort of thing I would be into personally but um, if you are into your your forestry or agroforestry even, this is probably a really nice map for you. So if we just spin around, you can kind of see how much of this map is taken up by this area of forestry. So yeah, quite impressive to say the least. So I think what we'll probably do is skip back to our tractor and we'll probably just spend our last few minutes running through the field prices as always. So. Obviously we own at 2 and 3, so if we wanted to expand into 19, which is probably going to be quite expensive, 630,000, so yep, as I thought, uh, 640,000, let's pick a slightly small one, so we went to 40, which I think is a meadow, 284, 11, 280, wow, uh, biggest maps on the, uh, biggest fields on the map, 757, wow. And 803 not quite as much as the uh, fields on the horse pack so that's good so if you want to go for some forestry smallest forestry patch 24 289,000 wow you've got to make a lot of wood and make a lot of furniture etc 743,000 827,648 so um yeah um not the cheapest when it comes to forestry so if we just go back to the farm quick oh, put our feet back down on the ground hopefully though you have enjoyed this uh, map tour video if you have give it a like subscribe to the Grain Man channel and I hope to see you again soon many thanks